So if you're like me, you're probably sick of pouring fuel all over the place when you're trying to get it from out of your jerry can, into your jet ski or your motorbike or even your lawnmower if you decide to mow your lawns. Basically, I saw a guy at the pump station and he had a good idea and I'm just uh, replicating it, showing you all uh, how to do it up here on Right, uh, I'm probably going to get a heap of hate from people that are going to say, oh, it's not all uh, fuel safe, blah, blah, blah. And they're probably right, probably isn't. But it's going to get the job done. I'll show you what you need. So we got the lid for a uh, jerry can, and I've got a threaded nipple there, and then I've got just two brass nuts, a quarter turn ball valve, that's a barb threaded and sort of adapter for water and system, that's a bit of um, tube. Right, first up get your cap, pop the, the O-ring out so you don't get all that stuffed up while you're working on it. Right, right over the vise, got the cap in the vise. Um, I'm using a spade bit because I can't find my hole saws in the, in the mess that is my garage or car hole as it were. So you just dry off when it comes to the wind. So instead of using thread tape now for joining all my bits together, I'm going to use um, well, I'm going to use a fuel resistant um, like gasket goo sort of top stuff. So I'm just going to light up, light up the uh, thread here. Just let that go tacky. All right, well, if the stuff until my fingers anything to go by, like, that's Good to do up now to start to go tacky. Nut that into there. I'm going to slide this up on this thread here. I'm going to crank that into the cap. Might cut its own thread there. Now this other nut here, we're going to take the uh, bench grinder and um, just take the ends off the thing, which is kind of goes against what you'd think you'd do with a nut because you want them normally you burr them off the nut stuff, but it's got to fit inside the end of the um, cap just to give it a bit of strain relief sort of thing. So we'll take them off with the grinder and we'll go from there. <laughs> Shot. You have to spin it backwards 
until he finds where he needs to uh, start threading up. Because you're taking the edges off the nut, it's going to make it hard to get it done up. Using a set of pointy nose, you'll get it in there. And once that's in there, they're not going anywhere. Grab yourself a chunk of rag, wipe off all the excess goo from in your, in your lid there. Right, just grab the yo ring, shove it back in there now you're finished. That's what the inside's going to end up looking like. Then you just turn the tap on. Here we go. Easy as that. Thanks for watching.